What's going on guys, Pro Spotlight here and we have the most insane clutch moments from Overwatch League Season 3. It's going to be a really beast video, so just stay tuned, subscribe and like, and yeah, enjoy the video guys, thanks. Robots went down, but still the Fusion pushing forward, he's broken and prioritizing that supercharge, and he does just that. Blade coming out now, EQO trying to find him though, he's not going to get the Gravitic Plugs, he's not going to get his target, which was Hampton, but he does find three kills. EQO showing him, showing up, what is that? Ridiculous movement. Oh, well, that's that's still doing a lot of work though. As the shadow hits the ground, that B is going to make sure Dallas Fuel get back to point in time. But Vecco pushes down to away from the rest of the team and ends up going Mecco down. It is now up to Blase to actually salvage this fight. He's going to eventually fall to paintbrush of all people. And now OT is here with one person. Give him a chance to fight this again. Oh, oh. <laughs> with a headshot on the Kempster. As you have the reinforcements coming back now for the Florida Mayhem. I can see the draw, Matthew Mira goes down, BQB removes it now, BQ can't get away from the dynamite box, used here, and BQB can sit safely back at the point, that hook did connect, but Yaki was able to break the chain by ducking around the corner of the left, and that train might take it worse, there's Kersay going down, Trello tag as well, shot weapon, he finds war, but I think that's going to be it, Decay with the nano, nothing's going to stop him now, Rolf is history, the Titans clamouring at life, they need to be able to touch this point, but Shockwave just trying as he might, he Kills aim gone as well. Someone needs to deal with him. Dalton finds R2 for the Graviton Surge from Decay. He's going to be good enough. OT is here. The Wrecking Ball for Storm, but that should just be it. They only needed 33%. The Vancouver Titans are going to go down. To play against the F Matrix. Asano that's pushing his way through. Fire strength. Trying to build up. Gets the Shatter online. Swings. Finds two. Drops the hammer. It's the rest of them. The Immortality Field will buy them some time. Asano now has one back at him up. Another swing. Another two kills. It's going to be absolutely huge. Already on the hook to be eliminated. But they're not going to be seeing another EMP. What it goes in. He gets up one step on the baby demon. Now an almost going to be gone. The down there just doesn't mean anything. They stick him out and one of the heartbreaker of a way for this to end. Barring a powerful from the side of the New York Excelsior. Mono is still alive. Still in the fight. He holds up. He's going to be snapped to his boy. With the demon tricks. He doesn't get an opportunity to try and turn some of the healing just isn't here. Eris not connecting. Vancouver just punishing, they take down the Eras, Sausage out of it, Cater and Park just don't have the health anymore. And now, Jake, this could be our reality. Vancouver is setting themselves up so incredibly well to take the series. Edison finds one, but Wolf sitting on a trance that I don't think he has any intention of using here. A couple of respawns do come back in. The lamp shot from spawn from Eris. Doofus Aussie, he needs to find a kill, but it is dodged. Nice moves by Park. Oh, MS gets stunned. That was sad. But Exy again finds value with a high noon. Gets a two piece. Overtime is nearing too, and they just found themselves a team kill. This is it. This is done. The payload will stop here. Fuel. Oh, it's a very aggressive comp. Really got already picked off though. That's pretty painful. We'll see if Toronto can survive the advance of the junk right here with the help of Belusio. Uh, the, the answer is going to be no, especially with Doha immediately falling right after, where Logix just goes. Absolutely crazy in the beginning. Still not done, by the way. Another three for Logic. Oh, yeah. Ben Ben did have his shield taken away, but then he gets hit by one party. Got in front field. Two for two. Tuba going to be the hero of this situation. Now he's about three kills and a barrage to secure the board. Sparkle goes down. Harpin is the suitor, and this bar is causing all sorts of problems. The Paris Hotel are now down to the last trickle of players. Tuba tries to go for a predictive rocket on Harpin and finds him. Oh. Get rid of the down for it, he's with his life, Carpe with the dead eye. There's the charge, it's perfect. Beast goes down, had to hold shield, could not retaliate. Sato is gonna get taken out though, but the issue is now for Defiance. They're gonna have to get back to the point in time and kill Carpe. He's still on the flank. He's trying to get Kareem, but Kareem in great positioning. He's behind the wall, there's no angle. But the Astro is gonna go down, they managed to take out both mechs as well. Pogo falling in baby diva form, Shurthal goes back. The Nano is all that he needed to stand. Marzik very close to this dead eye now. Oh, look at that, Dante! Open and pick! Looking pretty good so far now to dead eye. A great air shadow from Mano! Oh my word, from the top ropes! Takes him out, but he gets caught out! That could be a huge mistake! Oh, the dog man gets fucked right there. I mean, that is a killer. Oh, my the pump with the long range. Oh, that is it a hook on the Maza? The absolute thing! <laughs> Now they're now going to be back. Funny Astro using that one. Or can he chip away? Ellie Bro going to be taken down. They get the freeze. They get the shatter. The hammer comes 
down. The Fusion have the point for now. Blade coming in as much as they possibly can. The Dead Eye will come down. Roman X is on the fight. The headshot on the carpet. One of their star players taken out early. And Moonbox just left to his own devices in the sidelines. He goes down. The Fusion, only a couple of players left remaining. EQO's got a gun up huge right now. Everyone is weak. EQO with a blade. Pulls it through. Builds it up. Will it be enough? One kill, two kill. Are you kidding me? EQO now finds it with the third. And now it is overtime. XE moving over to the Tracer to try and deny him. But EQO, EQO. What a to try and find something. But the rest of his team are going to fall by the wayside. Self-destruct on the point. Toronto find the flip. Emergency Lucio from Paintbrush to try and get the touch. He gets instantly naded and finished off by Karim. And now the ball to take care of the rest. Don't really do all too much now. Even body blocking to making sure he can't just swing around the main point. There's only got going down as well. There's the blade. There's the sleep. Straight on him again, and the nade. The nade is being hunted by a striker, and the bait is there. Proper gets the headshot, gets rid of the tracer. The shocker only works with five players. That's going to be hard for Bob to resurrect his wall. I think they just wait for him to return. And... Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Four kills. The elite super still holding on to his. We'll see it, but it looks like the shot are absolutely decimating. Striker with two kills, and that is going to seal the deal for round number one. He's going to do it again? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Twilight? Another beautiful sleep into a fire grenade so they could block it with a shield. Smurf now primal raging near this spawn. This is the shot where that we like to see. Trying to do the Lord's work, but beaten down by Shax. Lose oh. the on the recall of stick. He got moved on the point, but Shax, oh. you're just standing out of at this point. The 3K? Are you kidding me? Show me some more. I'm hungry for it, Shax, and Shax is hungry for the win. Favorite Sam just go shot. Nice hack though on the rascal. He has his blue and can't use it. Now obviously just unloaded. Nice hawk into it. Decay gets two. And Decay gets three. Cleaning up right when it was dead. Play position turn on. Oh, he gets jumped upon Callahan. Oh, they're retaking storm. Oh, that's a yikes. Slow and steady push here for the moment. For the Shanghai Dragon, Void under some fire around the side, tries to keep himself safe. And Stan with a melee hit manages to find two to follow. Oh, and they're taking a heavy beating. Rastro is going so, so low. Ends up getting taken out by Prophet. Now that lack of heals are really going to start burning away at the health bars of the Valiant. KSB is going to get out of there rather quickly as Prophet finishes off KSM. It's got to get out of dodge. So you hear the ominous music, and that means that we are about to end the map here. Pulse Bomb and Self-Destruct, the best hope for a Valiant team trying to stay on the offense in Dorado. Marvel's going to have a defensive Self-Destruct. It finds her off. That's brutal. And Self-Destruct, too. Yeah. There's not really much you can do here, to be honest. KSP, last-ditch attempt to get his Pulse Bomb eaten and Prophet. Ends the round. The round. They wanted to try and secure something for KSP, but have lost out in the low ground fight in the process. Lastro and Gig are going to fall. Shaxx as well. This might just be it. This self shock has to be big. It's in the back. It doesn't find much, but damage on Super Shield. Striker takes out Rain. Finishes off the game. Uh, Hawk is coming back on Diva, so they definitely want to fight this try and oh, win it here. What a field! That was a oh my god, Dogman! Immortality field. And fire gets two. That is oh, crazy. Gator gets at just the right time yeah, super time. He was getting very close, but it's taken them so much time because of the duplicates. Is that Birdry now has to step above and beyond uh, the Call of Duty? Uh, as opposed to what he was normally doing, getting rid of an extra tank in every fight is no mean feat for a tracer, especially with all the armor you have to deal with. Empty gone now is below. He's got the gladiators in the fight for now. But now that Collins is are gone. Birdry follow oh. BGB finds three with the death blossom, and the gladiators hadn't a response to it. Couldn't get any birds. Rather dangerous. Ivy's Bob does end up falling as well. Transcend is coming out from Myungbong. Perfect stick by Carpe oh, though. Perk ends up falling. Myungbong's there as well. Oh, they needed a miracle and they definitely found it. Carpe coming up clutch once again as Ivy finishes up the fight as well. Maximum value, whatever. Look at the Trying to find a no, pick or two. Are you kidding me? Another big boom coming out from MT God. Haven't been stolen from the kill me, but it matters oh! not. MT God. What a clinic. What a performance. Yeah, you can see Decay there, he's looking for a pick on backliners, he doesn't just want to shoot tanks because 
Uh, he knows that Link's will eventually come for him, but there it is. Decay finds one, and ooh, the shield from Mecho just barely protects Dante. What a clutch survivability play by Mecho, keeping his team alive. And they lost one. Well, attempting to control the point. Hydration gets the barrage off, but Myungbong does end up sleeping in. The Dante's in the back, but Myungbong hits another sleep. Oh my god, he's perfect. He's gonna be able to take out Dante too. Back around Corey, pushes forward, gets the body shot, tries to take him out for Corey. Real managed to find the kill. Coco alone on the point. Dangerously low. Will be melted down. Roar finds the kill. Carpe looking for a shot. Takes one. Finds Stratus. Puts him in the head. Now he's looking for the support. Can't quite line it up. Gets on in midair. Over top of the pit. Carpe, can he do this? Bring it back from the brink. Chunks out. Masato has already taken care of him. Got. Roar finds the pit. But he has to go down. This case. Now, this should just be the slow bleed. A is forced out from the way to support, but he does actually get nano. I take it back. That's a whole lot of damage and a whole lot of HP for the K. He's tracking the mercy through the air as well. He's gonna be able to get another kill. That's four. We'll almost make it five. It's all gonna bench the They are flip though to the back. The death boss will take down Gushway. And the dragons are they about to oh. do it? Lip with the 4K to the back. It's Lip. Moving on is his blizzard, so nothing's going right right now for the shock, and still they persevere. Beast goes down to Violet, amplification matrix yielding a kill, but Kari was able to pick Violet off behind the rest of his bulkier teammates. He gets two, again it's Moira, three with the damage, and the draw to defiant gets the sure final. Bit. We appreciate make short work from there. See the beam as well, doing nothing to bring down, but Mon gets two with Violet, kills? Are you kidding me? Clutches it up just when the summons is still shocked. Looking like that was down. Robin drawing out the blade, jumps into the back, looks for some targets, and flashes away. Kind of an empty air. Has to resheath, but still has the melee hit the finish off shoe. Rio primal range here on the point. Happy now desperately swapping over onto the widow, but to try to find some quick picks. But he's gonna be greeted by Fitz in the most brutal way humanly possible. Who takes the shot? He'll get himself a sonic arrow, but okay, he finds it as he got a big hit, so on him that might be enough. Now, the work with two main tanks, but space is him with the Discord off right now, and yikes, Soji gets running to the ground. Do you think? Do you think that the Gladiators only play double sniper because they think Atlanta might play that rush composition? Or do you think they were willing to play double sniper against double?